All right. Our sound is usually always good. Yeah, I'm loud, so we're good there. You okay? No, it's only... <laughs> <laughs> just adjusting myself, that's all. Okay, so we'll make sure you're comfortable. Put on some weight since you guys last seen me. Just a little. Just a little bit. Just a little... Sticking out a little bit. It happens. You know what I'm it, saying? It happens. <laughs> it happens. People grow. Holiday time. In the front. <laughs> <laughs> you know, holiday time and you know, you know, you love on people. You you, you do love on people. <laughs> hey, this is not like where this is going. Holiday time, you love on people. You love on people. Next thing you know, you're growing in the front. I grow in the front. I like it. Yeah. It sounded like it was fun. <laughs> it do? It sounded like mean, it was fun. It was cool or whatever. It I was mean. cool for what it was, but it wasn't all that. Uh huh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, it was, um, it's great. It's so if you can't good. tell, there's another little munchkin coming. Woo woo! We love babies. They're, they're coming. It's my update. What if it was two? Girl. You losing first appointment we went to. They said it was two. She, they were str- like, they was like, I keep hearing something. Like they kept hearing like an extra. I was like, it's not funny even to play like that. Like even if you're trying to be funny as a doctor or something, it's not funny. I don't think they were trying to be funny. I think that maybe it could be two. Nah, we, you know, one is good. One is one a will blessing. rock your world. Two is. You doing too much. I want to. I hope you do have to. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that on you. <laughs> all, all the juju. Just pray it. Just pray it. Send it up. Yeah. So the blessings can come I wish down. you. Because I want to. I went, uh, I saw a, like a TikTok a long time ago that was like girls that be like, I want twins. I'm going to do it two times. One birth, two, knock it out. Mm-hmm. And then it started playing. <laughs> Um, the beginning of Rihanna's song, you look so dumb right now. As she's like carrying struggling, two car seats. carrying two car seats. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Sounds cute. Tell you what you think about it. I watch a lot of TikToks, people with twins mm-hmm. and if they look tired. Well, you never, <laughs> at least when one is like sleep or something or fed or something, you're done. Yeah. For that moment. But these new babies that's coming out post 2020. Uh huh. These different kind of babies. They come out like walking, talking, cooking their own field and stuff. So. I'm, I'm hoping mine's is, well, mine not a panty baby technically, right? Not technically, no. Okay, so I'm good. Technically, no. You're, it's not a. Right. Edemic baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm good then. Maybe. But your kid will probably be a lot more independent anyway just because it has three older siblings. Yeah. So it's going to want to keep up and it's going to probably move fast because it's moving, trying to keep up and move with them. Yeah. And I'm just hoping for that. I just think about Deval and Kadeem with uh-huh. like their fourth. Their that baby, baby is, is like 12. Grown. I was like. That little boy is like Dakota is grown. I was like, dang. Mm-hmm. I feel like he was just born. Yes. That's how I'm Walking. Rolling. Noise, <laughs> talking, trying to play with the brothers, running. Yeah, Run it. yeah, yeah. that's true. So I, I kind of think it'll be the same. Thank you for wishing that on me. I appreciate it. I just know you have a lot of things going on, so having a fast-moving kid will help. You have news to share, too, right? I have news to share. It was my news. It's her news time. <laughs> I got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Special announcement. Bam, bam, yeah, bam, bam. I'm finna be a wife or whatever. That's what's up. It's a lot. That's what's up. It's exciting. I was excited. I'm used to her now. Okay. Um, Initially, it was like, what is this on my finger? It, it took it some was getting used to. Uh-huh. It was um, Remember, I used to always wear an index ring over here. Mm-hmm. I had to switch hands. You know, because it was, had to be adjusted. Because it was too. Well, I couldn't have all. I didn't want all of that happening on the one hand. Do you work out with your ring on? I do. Oh. <laughs> Because I was taking it off initially, but then I feel weird not having it on. So when I do, I just put my workout gloves on so it's covered. I, oh. I did a, a poll on Instagram and asked, like, what do you guys do with y'all rings? Like, y'all working out in them or y'all not? And mostly everybody told me to keep it on. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, I am sometimes I look down like, oh, shit. If I, like, move a little too, I'm like, whoa, whoa. But 
Yeah. I wear a glove around it most times. Oh, so. okay. Well, then you should be good. Yeah, I think it'll be good. She's pretty, but yeah. we very, love her. Very, very pretty. She's very pretty. We're very excited. I was, I was telling um, the producer, I was like, it's time for me to get a new ring. Oh, you're going to start wearing your ring. Then that, that's what he said, and I was like, I don't know, I doubt it. <laughs> then no, don't buy her a new one. <laughs> I was don't like, buy a new one. But special occasions and stuff, like you know, a dental or something, or um, okay, or um, we're gonna have to make sure you go out then. You know, a thing. You know, like a thingy, a ball. So you can wear it to my wedding. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that too. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you like to wear your ring? I think, well, we got these tattoos like, I don't know, probably like four or five years ago, mm-hmm. maybe even longer. I don't know. And um, I just stopped because, it, well, you know, I couldn't put nothing you on the finger while well, I yeah. let it heal and I got used to it. Mm. So I just never put it back on. It's not like it's unwearable. It's a nice ring. But Since I was, I've known you, you've never worn it. I know. I've but, never seen it. I know. I'm not trying to fake it be single. I can't. I don't think that. I can't. I never really got that vibe from y'all. I just thought y'all were a couple that just didn't do rings. Oh, no. We got rings. He wear his um on his neck. Okay. Yeah, he on his Curry Bradshaw. Who's closer to my heart this way? Oh, you don't remember that scene from Sex and the City? Nah, it's all. Aiden proposed to Carrie, and he bought her this bomb ring. And she was wearing it, but then she started feeling like she got the icks about getting married. So then she took it off her finger and was wearing it around her neck. And he was like, huh, huh, what's going on here? Like, I spent a lot of money on that girl. What you doing? And she was like, oh, it's closer to my heart this way. And he was like. And he was just like, what's that, something new? Um, he wasn't feeling it. Oh. Well, I mean. In the end, he wanted her to keep the ring, but she ended up giving it back because they didn't get married. But. I think I remember. I tried. Okay, so I did like a binge mm-hmm. of that. So when you do it like that, you miss a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I feel you're like, just watching it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not it, really going back, rewatching, rewinding. Yeah. yeah, knowing stuff. Yeah. So maybe I could have talked about it like right after I watched it. Oh. But see, I watch it regularly like it's still Background a noise. thing. It's my background noise. I cut it on at night. Oh, okay. That's mm-hmm. what you. That's what I do with girlfriends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this makes total sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do with girlfriends. It makes total sense. It'd be just on. Yeah, that makes sense. I know everything. All the show quotes, everything. Then I don't. That's sad. I'm not that black. I got to step my black card up. I'm <laughs> going to need you to. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not judging. I've never really been that black anyway, though. So it's okay. Did you watch Girls then? No, I tried to get into girls. I couldn't. It was hilarious to me. Yeah, I was trying. I couldn't really get into it. I'm, I think I'm stuck on like season one, episode something. I don't even uh-huh. know. I've tried. It was hilarious to me. It was like, it was like a, yeah, it was like a Will Ferrell I mean, I love movie. Insecure. That don't count. Cause it's You're new. supposed to. It's new black. Yeah. Well, I was trying to keep in your genre of, white, right, of, of white whiteness. I was, I was like, you like girls? You know, I've always been this way. This isn't a new thing. I've always been the, I'm not trying to judge the black girl with the white stuff, like in high school, listening to rock music and shit. So it fits. I'm going to get into some black stuff, though. I, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to get into some black stuff. One day. What else should be going on? You had a good um, holiday in general? I had a general? great holiday in general. Birthday? My birthday was I good. I missed her birthday. But for good reason. You guys were traveling, so that was yep. good. But um, birthday was great. Um, had a cute little bowling function. Mm-hmm. Had a cute little turnout. Pictures it was looked great. Eight degrees outside, so mm-hmm. I really appreciated people coming out in the cold at 10, 11 o'clock at night. So we had a, a ball. That's great. Um, it was good. It felt very grown up. Um, I don't, what did I do during the day? I don't even remember what I did during the day, but it was very, I am growing up. I could feel it. Like birthdays used to be like a big thing for me, like planning and this and third. And now I'm just kind of like, whatever. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's just, it's too much to plan and get and coordinate people. People have children. It just becomes a lot. So I'm hoping to start traveling maybe for my birthday. Mm. That would be lovely, but we'll see. I'm sorry. I missed it. It's Okay. God willing, I'll have another one, and you another will. one, and, and many another, more, and another one. Yeah, and another. How one. was the trip? It was so good. Pictures were great. It was good. I um, 
went to Punta Cana. It's our first time taking the kids out of the country. Did they have, how was that? So <laughs> let, let me back up. <laughs> Initially, you know, our kids have never been out of the country for Christmas like that. And so when we discussed, oh, we're not doing Christmas this year, we're going on trip. <laughs> they was like, where the gifts at? We, so, so what we get? And it's so crazy because they say that, but they don't even, what do you want? What do you want for Christmas? I want this stuffed animal and you don't even want nothing for Christmas. It's not like you want the new, you know, I want the new J's or something. You know what I'm saying? Like our list used to be long. Yeah. With with actually meaning, meaningful. But anyways, so anyways, so we got the oldest on board quickly because she can Google, you know what I'm saying? You give her names and stuff and you be like, but it's going to be hot and swimsuits. So she we was got like, yay. We got the oldest on board. And then then the, um my oldest son, you know, he's pretty logic and reason. So if you discuss, <laughs> you know, I'm saying if you discuss the you know, our thought process as the parents with mm-hmm. the child, like this is what I was thinking, <laughs> son. How would it make our family better? He'll be like, Oh, I can see what you're doing with that. That is that makes sense. <laughs> that is his personality. The little one never got on board until we got on a, until we got on the plane and it became like a trip. A yeah. yeah. He was and he was trying to get us to move the dates because we left the day. <laughs> so the last day of school, technically for them, we left. And, you know, the last day of school, they do like holiday parties and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So he was like, can you just move our flight? I was like, first of all. <laughs> Don't nobody give a shit about them holiday parties, them little stale ass treats. He and wanted stuff. the cookies in the gift bags with the peppermint in it. Right. That's what I said. He, Don't do I him. Mean, literally, with the attitude. Y'all can't just move the flight. I understand his point. <laughs> no, we cannot. As a seven, seven, yeah, seven year old, that's Almost important. Eight. That's important to him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so he literally did not get on board until we were on the plane. He was like, oh, okay, we're going somewhere. We, where is he going somewhere? So we do have to fly. This yeah, is cool. This is cool. Because being on a plane is cool for yeah, kids. Yeah, That's it fun. is. It is. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Yeah. It takes off. And anyways, so we get there and it's hot. And we're good. We, you know, we have a great time. As um, soon as we get there, they're like, swimsuits on. Mm-hmm. Go out. And I'm like, I don't care. Go. Please. Do. Just do the things. Um, the best thing I would say that came out of that trip is my son's bonding. Before the trip, they were fighting. They had been fi- like they had been fighting a lot, like just, and it was all for silly stuff. Mm. I mean, I just you know touching. <laughs> I, it was stupid stuff. I mean, and kids go through that, but the trip itself. It bonded them so much. Like they were like playful and loving Aww, on each sweet. other. And it was it was so great to see. Oh, I was good. so happy. The um the resort we stayed at gave everybody like a room key, mm-hmm. w- which was like a wrist thing, and you like touch it to the fob and it just opens the door. Yeah. So um like every night they had some live entertainment. And we tried to stay and hang out and do it, but one of the nights, um, Ethan was like, I'm ready to go. Oh. And so the little one was like, All right, I'm with you, bro. Oh. And so they <laughs> and so they I was like, Well, y'all know y'all can go back to the like they felt like they had to go with the parents. And I yeah. was like, Y'all know your way back to the room. And the old the older one, he has a great sense of direction. So I was like, Yeah, go back, we'll see y'all at the room. Yeah. So they did that together. Like it was just stuff. They moved as a unit. Good. He was like, I get the French fries or order French fries for me and my brother. <laughs> they was together. They was together. Versus when they and home, they said they was separate. right. But it, it has translated to when they got home. There has not been as many dust ups, if any. OK, that's good. So it has translated to here. That's home. good. So that's been, it was a really good trip that they enjoyed it. And then they was like. We can do this again. I was gonna say, is that something you think you want to kind of do? I think it is moving I, forward. Instead I think of? it is um, because, truth be told, um, our kids are very fortunate to not have to. I don't want to say be as needy, but they get stuff 
because it's Tuesday. Not yeah. necessarily because like we have to wait until your birthday to get you your shoes you want or stuff. Yeah. Most of them are athletes and stuff like that. They need new shoes for whatever. Their father's a sneak ahead. So if they say shoes, they got him on board. He at the store. So, I mean, you know, even clothes. Um, my mom is kind of a easy go on that. She'll be like, you wanted some shirts? I'll take you to get some shirts. You know what I'm saying? So they get stuff year all, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So Christmas, I, I, I think if they realize it, they'll get more value in just the memories of mm -hmm. spending Christmas every year somewhere else. Yeah, experiences. And when right. it's hot. Because it was damn cold here. It was. Um, I guess Kennedy had talked to one of her friends that was here. And she was like, Ma, they said it's freezing there. No, and I was like. So it was so cold. And I was like, while you're ducking the sun. Mm -hmm. Isn't it that great? It was so cold. Yeah. Yeah. I think traveling for Christmas is a good thing. My mom been trying to get us all on board, but it's much harder when you have adult children with spouses and children. Yeah. And everybody has different schedules and work and different things. So it's a lot harder once you're all grown to mm -hmm. kind of coordinate and do it. But she would love to. My mother's been trying to do it for years. I think she should just go and whoever can go, go can go. And then eventually everybody will get on. You know, she'll have a year where it's everybody. Yeah. She may not get a year every year where everybody's going to yeah. be there. But then, you know, she'll have, you know, the years. Because I feel like that's what I'm going to feel like I want to do. Like well, I, I may not get all the kids. Yeah, but eventually you'll have some. But I told my mom, I said, we have to either get some babies around here or we got to start doing some stuff because Christmas is boring without children. Mm. Like this year it for really Christmas, is. um, while very, it was just relaxing. It, it was just like great to enjoy your day off. Like... We went over my mom's house late, which we never do. I'm typically over there all day. So like from like 10 o'clock, it's like since I moved, I'll go like early in the morning and I'll uh -huh. stay all day. This time I was like, ah, I'll be there around three. I didn't get there till like 3.30. Um, my sister came right behind me. My brother came a little after us because he went to his grandparents' house. My sister was sick for Christmas. So that was a thing. Um, and then we didn't do Christmas with like all my cousins. Like we did Thanksgiving. We just did us for Christmas and we did seafood, which was great. The seafood idea for Christmas is a great idea. We had crabs, we had shrimp boil. We had, oh my God, it was so good. So the food wasn't traditional, but it just wasn't, it was no one running around. It was no, it, it was cute for us to open our gifts, but we're grown. Our gifts are more expensive now. It takes two minutes to open your two gifts like right, right you know what i mean so i told her i said we need to get some kids or we need to start doing some traveling or something around here because it's boring yeah we're boring now i could get that i could get that it is it is more for the children it's definitely it's for the kids it's definitely more for the children. seeing the excitement of ripping open gifts and running around and loud and all that kind of stuff it, it that's what it's about and if you don't have really that it's just like a day <laughs> with family having dinner with a tree with a tree lights and some lights well, but grateful nonetheless to yeah. spend the time, but yeah. still, it just, it's not as you exciting as it used yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. So I think traveling is something we'll consider doing. I like it. On a yearly basis. Um, Did y'all take any gifts? No, they didn't get nothing. Th the trip was the gift from their father and I. Um, I like Their it. grandparents did get them some things, I believe, or my mom did i don't know if their grandparents well their mom my mom did for sure she did have them some stuff sent to the house so when we got back um they got to open stuff that my mom had sent here okay well that was good because then at least there was something okay yeah but literally it was like a dinosaur and they were and excited. i know i've seen that same dinosaur in my house somewhere <laughs> i know i've seen it they try to tell me like ma no you ain't no seen we don't this have before. a pegasaurus and i was like I seen that dinosaur. You ain't gonna fool me. I know I seen that. He's like, dinosaur. Mom, this is an Indominus Rex. This is a Pegasaurus. This is the new one. We didn't have this one. Yep, exactly. And I was like, green. <laughs> That's the same green damn shit. Green and spikes. Same, same thing. Same damn shit. Right. Well, yeah. Well, I'm glad they enjoyed it. I was wondering how y'all's trip was. Yeah. Love the coordinated swim swimwear. Okay, so like, th this is where Love. this is where I like go. The we had matching sweat um, shirts. You know, for the for the plane rides there and back. You know what I'm saying? All the same color. It was like a burgundy, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, for us all. I like um, it. I like it. 
Look, all these the, were the Christmas gifts. All right, <laughs> all the women were like, "I like your sweatshirt." I was like, "Yeah, women do like that." Whenever we they, like every, to coordinate. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it's such a cute thing for us. We love it. We're like, yes, everybody's coordinated. It's like they all together. No one cares. <laughs> the men could care less. Okay. Look, I'm there. Like, I got you this. You gotta wear it because everybody else is wearing it. <laughs> it's for the family, right? Matching shirts to go under. Um. And then I got us all the same, you know, swimsuit cord. That was so cute. How did you, where did you order that? Etsy. I believe it. <laughs> Etsy. It was a boutique off I of believe Etsy. It. Etsy. That was good. The only part that I'll share with y'all. So I planned, I ordered the swimsuit based on how I thought I would be. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't plan for a belly mm, mm-hmm. in the, uh. Mm-hmm. So, so I had my swimsuit on, but there was no air. You couldn't breathe. Oh my God. Why did you I have sm- it I on? Suff- I suffocated the baby because that was cute. Sorry, little baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We didn't breathe all day long and I wore it all day. Oh no. We got to get all the day pictures. Me in the water. It's okay. <laughs> Right. Baby's fine. Yeah. It was a little tight in there. He it used to be a she, he, he, they. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The baby. The baby. To be, used to being tight. Yeah. So it was good money. Why do people naturally call out a sex when they're referring to a baby? Like we say he yes. or she. I don't, I just think it's just how we talk. Right. Yeah. And like when it's you. It's such a natural thing. And like a, you use your pronouns. Right. <laughs> you use them. How about that? You use your pronouns. We're from a different era. Yes. Where pronouns were a thing. Where like, but of what we saw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not it was what, not, what it was. Not, 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 not what, what it, you told me it yeah, was. Yeah. It was. It was. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I I have a habit of saying he, but I don't know what it is. And I don't want to know. I don't think you should know. I think my cousin them uh, said this when they had their first kid. In life, you're afforded so little surprises and so little things you can't control, right? You can't control what's happening inside of you. So well, it's done. to have it come out and be... A surprise is huge. Yeah, literally. Yeah. They I was like, that. you doing a gender reveal? I was like, nope. Nope. We're all going to find out when it slides out my hooter. Just a, a baby shower with neutrals. Everything was neutral. Yeah. It's giving me neutrals. Yeah. I'll be good. Good money. Be on your Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. What about Baby, that? we're all tan. Oh, shit. <laughs> all ivory. Oh, well, wait a minute. Brown. Not them. They got problems. I don't want them private problems. But there's, but the color aesthetics. The color, so the colors do be cute. Though. The aesthetics is so pleasing. The colors do be cute though. Um, but that was, that was, I think that's pretty much it. You know, it New was a Year's. great holiday experience. New Year's was uneventful. Um, Happy New Year. It was very uneventful. Oh, okay. I mean, me too. I mean, but we did our trip right. And this is the, how we'll do the trip too all the time. We left. So a lot of people do. Because the kids are usually off like a couple of days before Christmas mm-hmm. and then they go back like the day or two after New Year's. Correct. Right. So we left like the early part into Christmas and then came back after Christmas. Right. Like the day after Christmas. Right. Okay. And so then we had that whole week basically to be home, to be like chilling, um, getting our lives together, um, just relaxing. So by the time New Year's came, you know, I, I think it was like they were literally counting like it's 20 seconds. And I was like, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we like to we like to cheers the whole family together. Yeah. But I was up for it. I was up for the countdown. I was definitely up, but it just was uneventful. It was I was at home. It was chilling. It was nothing crazy. We had we did have New Year's brunch, which was really nice. Oh, okay. Me and my sister cooked brunch. Um, my brother, my sister, my mom, and um, Jess came over, uh-huh. and we had brunch. So that oh, was nice. Um, so that was fun. But the night, I just, I was looking for something more exciting. Like what? I just wanted to do something. Oh, okay. And I could, and Wait, I had the thing about it is, I, I had something I could have done. And I was like, I figured you'd be out here in these streets. And I wasn't. I had something I could have done though. That's the thing. I could have done something, but I chose. I opted not to do it. And then halfway through me not doing it, I regretted it. I'm sorry. I'm. Nope. kinked up here okay halfway through me not doing it i was mad that i didn't do it and so next year 
just know I'll be doing the thing that I want to do. Oh, okay. Which is what? So every it year, was a party? it was a party. It's okay. a house party. Every year, Erica's family does a Christmas Eve big party, and then they do a New Year's Eve party. Mm-hmm. So they didn't have the Christmas Eve party due to some people getting COVID, and so the New Year's Eve party was the big Christmas party. So it had all the games and stuff they do for Christmas Eve, they just pushed it to New Year's because they do raffles, they give away gifts. Like it's such a big thing for them and their family, and it's just family. So it was I was supposed to go to that, and I was like, I'm tired. I just I cooked all day. We were drinking champagne. Like I was like, whatever. But then by the time eight nine o'clock came, I could have toughed it up, but it was fine. It's fine. I have a big year ahead, so it's, I'm about to say it's good to kind of be a little chill. mellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay to sit down. <laughs> I'm learning that. <laughs> okay to sit down that's not my forte i know it's not i just knew you was gonna be out yeah sitting being that's not my thing i am very much like an out and about social person right. so to be not out and just in was different yeah well but it's fine it's i have a like i said we have a big year ahead of us I've been there'll be teaching. tons of times to move around yes and thing, ting, all the things. Money to spend. Money to spend. Lord have mercy. I am sure. Mm, 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 mm. I am sure. Um, It'll be great. <laughs> It'll be great. Mm. On, so, yeah. On another note, we did want to talk to y'all about the best man. That's how we got so serious, didn't we? We did. I'm sorry. We want to discuss child hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Like, she got so serious, bro. <laughs> no, we wanted to discuss the, that part uh, because we, well, one is we're both out of loop with shows, but that's mm-hmm. the one show we made a point to watch so we could talk about it with y'all. Yes. Um, and I'm glad I decided to watch it. I'm, I'm glad it was suggested to watch. It was, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, uh, as an overall thing, I feel like they did a very good job. Agreed. Starting from where the last, the part two, Best mm-hmm. Men Holiday ended, to bringing us into current times. Mm-hmm. Shoot, even future. I think they were like, it was 2024 when it ended or something like that. So, excuse me. They did a great job at that. It was a lot of, sometimes a little fast. It was like, whoa. So it then kind of moved a little fast? It did a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. Sometimes you didn't know. If you didn't see the the time period or something flash on the screen, you was yeah. like, "Wait a minute, what happened here?" Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you, did. M- you mean like from when, like mess like Morris Chestnut, and then coming home with those kids being a bit bigger, or like after. Not even that. Just stuff happening with like people's relationships and stuff. Like, you know, mm. the whole you know Tay Diggs and Sinai thing. Mm. Um, you know. It seemed a little like because he was gone for like two episodes. He had to be. I I found I did some research Why? because he is a series regular on a network show. Oh, so you can't be a series regular on two shows or ser- what is it called when you're a main character? What oh. are those called? Main characters. You know what I'm talking about. So like you can be a reoccurring <laughs> yeah, yeah. character. On another show, but you can't if, be if, two if, leads you, on two, two shows. shows. I didn't without know getting permission. Even though the show is like a pre-recorded like mini movie, I know, but it's not. It's considered a show, right? Because it was episodes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, that makes sense now. But I was wondering. I was like, he was gone for two episodes. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's why. Because he's on All American. Oh. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Got it. Got it. Um. But yeah. Um. I thought they did a good job with the characters. They stayed true pretty much to who they were. Yeah. Just a little mature. Um, um, to me, Sanaya has always been flighty. She, you know, she's been fl- in all the, she's been flighty. Yeah. I was so torn between that situation because I understood his perspective and point, but I kind of was like, I get her point too a little bit just based on Harper's character. But I felt like I was more on Harper's side because I knew ultimately everything he was trying to do was more for longevity versus for in the moment. But he's always been gratification, selfish. But he's always been a selfish like person. So that's why I got her point, but mm-hmm. then I also got his point too. I was like... Uh, I don't know who to be mad at. Everybody's characters <laughs> pretty much stayed true to who they were. Like no one did like a. Was like oh I don't know what's going on with them. This no. is new. No one did that, which was great because it was like it made sense. Yeah, that those would be their goals. Unfortunately, 
you know, snatching somebody's child to another country is a like what sense did that like who does why that? Why did she think that that was the thing? Who who does that? I don't know. A whole nother country. <laughs> like you ain't just change states. You ain't say, "Oh, we moving to California." California while you live in New York. York. No, you want to go to Africa, and they're gonna tell him he can come whenever he want. Like flights is fifty dollars. Hey, yeah, uh, see, yeah, that's what I'm mad at. I'm mad at her now. I remember, I am mad at her because that was ridiculous. It was, it was far, but she's always been flighty like that. Now she's just uh, inflicting her life onto a child. Now I thought she was gonna cheat with the little young boy. Oh, yeah, well, you know they kind of left that storyline die real quick. They did, they, but I feel like the reason why she ended up do- moving the way she did the flight, the straw that broke the camel's back was him not getting that restaurant for her. But his point of not getting it or not rushing to do it made sense. You start this thing and you're invested. You're over it. You start this thing, you're invested and you're over it. She's me. I get it. I, <laughs> I start and invest and I'm over it too. I but understand. She can, but she consistent though. Like but she you, always been that way. But you can't expect. You was like, I love you. I'm going to marry you. Yeah. So now what? But like, I, you I really, love you. I'm going to marry you. But I'm not going to keep wasting money on you. I mean, she do make money back. It's not like yeah, she, she do, she but throw then money she be, away. It be thrown away a little bit. Show me a little thrown away. <laughs> well, and I got her passion for cooking and all that kind of stuff. That's and cute. Feet and the feet and the homeless and stuff. That was nice. I thought that was a very sweet storyline. Yeah. Damn, am I? <laughs> Shit, not what you have. Um, a come to Jesus moment right no, now. I gotta do better. <laughs> I got to do better. Um, <laughs> but I just felt like, look, and as I'm judging her, I'm going to shut up. Uh, what's her name? Uh, what's her, what's real her name, name on the show? What's her name Robin. in the show? Robin. I understand. A little bit. Not that she just had a cup of Jesus <sighs> moment. Whoever knew that I was so flighty? <laughs> I don't feel like you're flighty. <laughs> you don't know me well enough then. <laughs> I just, I think that. I feel like you're consistent at your flightiness. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you could. That's not a good trait. <laughs> you consistent at your flightiness. That's not a good trait. Um, it's not about me. She is a mother effer. <laughs> this is not about me for you, moving that man's you, baby. I was about to say the, the child situation is. The, I would this. never remove a child from. The, I, I, I couldn't do that. For one, that's just not fair. Just because you want to do that and do all that kind of stuff and you and this person have your own personal situation yeah. going on, it's not about y'all. It's about the kid. Babe, and that, right. the way that baby was crying in that car. Jesus. Who, Daddy just come. Who got time for that? Who want to make their baby cry like that? Oh, because you want to go to Africa and make sandwiches. Right. I said, it's so funny because she went to Ghana. It seemed like everybody went to Ghana for Christmas or New Year's <laughs> everybody or whatever. Did. Like all the celebrities <laughs> Ghana stuff. was popping. Right. It seemed like that's what Ghana they was. They had a festival. Yeah. A couple of them, right? They was popping. A couple of festivals. And a lot of people said, the guest flights to Africa are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> right. You was wrong. They all $50. See? As many people was there. I, excuse me. Because um, y'all was lit. But um, no. I, I just, I thought that was good. I thought the merch and Candace story was good. Uh-huh. Is he gay in real life? I don't this know. has nothing to do with anything. I'm just no, wondering. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I saw another role he played where he played a gay man. He was convincing. He's an actor. Uh, yeah, I mean, right. Nobody's saying that about Lil Murder. He convincing. He is, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he convincing or is he gay? <laughs> yeah. Which question? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think he's convincing. I don't think he's gay. Oh, okay. Well, I know he just got married. To a girl? To a lady. Oh, okay. To a woman. A she. A she, her. a born a she. A she, her. She, her. Yes. Okay. You know what? So actors could be good. My, but I thought their storyline was good. I thought it was so funny. They came home and the little girls was high. And he was like, <laughs> fuck these kids. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, they, she trying. She, I got, she really wanted to try to find a way with the daughter with anxiety and help her find a natural you way. know, remedy versus meds. Because so many kids complain about effects from taking those medicines. Oh my God, look at um, Euphoria. Yes. Like the whole reason that Rue, is her name Rue? Rue. Yep. This way she is because they started her on medication when she was like seven. Yeah. And she just got a, a, a taste for it and it just got worse. Yep. So I just so, feel like finding natural remedies is 
I got her point. Like that's really what people need to be doing anyway for everything. Yeah. Um, they ain't doing nothing but killing us with all this crap. Yeah, that's true. The so, government yeah. is Thanos. I've been saying it for years. But anyway. <laughs> um So yeah, like that was a good storyline. The Nat brung and then she had her Me Too moment. Um Oh my god, the teacher. I forgot about that. Yeah. So it's like they they covered everything. Like that they made it did. You know what I'm saying? That made it like now. Yeah. From then to now. In a good way, though. Yeah. Because what they did versus what uh, we'll talk about, like, shows that have spinoffs, what the Sex and the City spinoff did, uh-huh. how they tried. I felt like what Sex and the City did was try to put too many current effects into a, a situation too fast. And it was in just it just didn't feel right. It wasn't written right. It, just, it felt stuffed and like forced. OK, this felt very thought out, well written, very well played, even with Lance and the Sun. Like it was. Only thing I had to complain about that was they did bad casting. The son looked older than him. He did. Um, I was like, is this your, who's the father? I don't like the son. I don't know who that That young man was, but he, he was, he's at least 52. (laughs) 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 He's playing 30, but I'm saying he was 52. And when he put on the lashes that came to work with Lauren, with Nia Long, I was like, (laughs) "Hmm." hey, grown man. Who daddy is that? Yeah, he it was very. He did I look just, older. He looked very much older, especially. I mean, granted, Morris <laughs> Chestnut looks great for his age because I really think he's like fifty-two in real life or something like that. He's like close to fifty-five or something in real life. Yeah, but the guy that played his son, son his high school son, right? He's fifty-two in real life. Yeah, he looked old. He Actually, looked. that's a good point to point out that he did. Yeah, that, that was the only thing. I mean, the storyline itself was was great. good. It was very much. Uh. It was very much. I was kind of annoyed how Morris now. found his uh, girl clothes, though. Like, who would really look behind that poster? <laughs> I mean, you would. Look. I'm not a parent. You're right. I'm about to say. When you're trying to Never find. Mind. <laughs> every, look, right now, being a parent of a teenager, Ooh. everything makes me suspicious. I am just suspicious Jane right now. And if she's a Earl, she's a little teen. They, <laughs> if they ask me a question, I'm like, but why is she asking me that question? You think? You think she's doing drugs? And I know producer is like, (laughs) calm down. He is. (laughs) He is. He's like, hey, calm down. Or he like, if you feel that strongly about it. Ask her. Ask her. And I'm like, is she going to know I don't trust her? (laughs) And that's not what we're trying to do right now. Right. (laughs) I'm just, I jump off the deep end a lot. That's going to be me as a parent. I do jump off the deep end. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because it's a. No, it's not because I no. do it with the boys too. I said that's my personality. I'm going to do it. Literally, she was just tired last night, and she was laying on the floor in her room, just like you know how you just get tired, and you're yeah. like, I was like, oh my gosh, she got the mono. Okay. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she didn't gave her the kissing disease. <laughs> I was like, you've been kissing boys. <laughs> she was like, yo, I'm just exhausted. She was like, like, I'm just tired. I was like, oh. the floor is comfortable. I like laying. Oh, on okay. Let me get you a blanket. <laughs> My bad. Come on, Ken. I'm going to get you a blanket. We're going to keep her together. So, She's going to yeah. be too busy in a minute, Ken. Don't worry about <laughs> it. So, yeah. Um, but um, I did I did like who they had play. Uh, what's main man? Terrence Howard's like potential wife or going to be wife. She, she was the right cast for that. that was I good. did like them casting her for that. Yeah. That was good. Um, what's her name? Nicole Ari Parker. Yeah, that sound right. Boris Kojo's wife. Yes. Um, I did like that. That whole thing was cute because she was acting so like whimsical and like her sage and stuff. But then when she got to talking to um Shelby, uh-huh. she, she was, was like, like, "Look, bitch, okay, what you're not gonna do? Keep your hands off my man." It was like, and I know you, you don't. Oh, like when she asked her how she tastes, hey, I was like, ooh. <laughs> She was like, I know you don't like losing. It sucks. Your flight information is in your phone. She was like, how did you get? I'm seeing my <laughs> Hey, that part was good. And I really thought, I was like, ain't no way um, he didn't change. He was way too different to be that conformed yeah. over this one girl. No way. And the fact that Shelby's daughter is his makes total sense. It does, but I didn't like that. Like, Why? they kind of skimmed over that. They tried to make it like a fairy tale ending when the truth yeah. is, she's scandalous for that. 
Like, how you not going to tell somebody they, their steady father is 10? And you still that, was sleeping with him throughout the time, too. Right. And, and she like 11 or 10 or whatever. That's 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 a little trifling. But they made it kind of like, they wrote it kind of like, oh, but this is your baby. Well, you yeah. know what triggered me. What triggered you? The heart attack. Oh, well. Yeah. I was like, yo, you have to understand where she's coming from. She's trying to help, help you. you. And you're like, I mean, but he was going, like, he lost it. He was like, you were trying to ruin my life. Yeah. And she was like, I want you to have a life. I'm trying to help you be healthy. But I, 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 I was like, you're just trying to help and be be right. helpful because you saw it. I think people don't realize how traumatizing it is for the person who's seeing it. Yes. Just as bad as it is for the I person can imagine. Who like, that it. is just. Yeah. I've never had that type of specific scare. Yeah. But there was a night where I got a call, <laughs> a crazy ass call of of something potentially like that happening. <laughs> and I was a wreck off the potential. Like that scared the sh- out of me. Mm-hmm. Um, I can joke about it now, but that night it Wasn't was funny. not funny. It was not funny. At all. So it I can only imagine it being real. And I wasn't even there to see it happen, but I know it's not funny. It was not funny. Yeah. So anyways, I, you know, I, I, yeah, it, it, that, that's, that was bad. That's, that was triggering to me. You but, just gotta, you know, but you know, what was, what, what, you know, what settled him down was it happening again, potentially. Yeah. 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 He was like, Oh, sh- this is real. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I think that, or at least how they wrote it, it made it seem like that settled his mm-hmm. spirit, and he was because able- it made him realize, like, oh shoot, like she is just trying to help. I'm sitting here just living, trying to keep keep it moving, but in reality, I do need her help. I do need her to watch after me. I don't want to die alone. Right. Yeah. That's a scary thing to think about, especially yeah. as you get older. People, yeah, no one wants to die alone. Nobody wants to die. Like, Nobody wants to die first. Period. <laughs> but then, then alone, no one wants yeah. to die alone. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else did I like in the story? What you think about the knee alone thing with the guy? Or so, even her. It made sense with her health because she's so high strung. Right, right, yeah. right. Um, so two things. She couldn't get her life together, which is crazy. <laughs> like, it's like a weird thing to be like in love with someone, but not one. I don't know. It was very weird. Her, like her and Harper's relationship. Mm-hmm. Harper. Not Tay Diggs, Harper. Harper. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very weird to see their relationship be the way it was and them not ending up together. And I think that's because I'm used to like those Hollywood endings or I'm whatever. I'm about to say, I appreciated they didn't put them together because that would have, that just was so cliche. It was, it did, that was the one thing that made the most sense. But right. don't do that because they would, if they wanted to be together, they could have been together a long time ago. Yeah, they could have. I just felt, you know, sometimes it wasn't aligned then or what maybe, I don't know. It still wasn't. So, I you mean. a kid in Africa. In Africa, shit. I mean. And she was having um, blind spills and shit from stress, from her migraines. That's crazy. Um, but I knew that guy. He's always been a dirt ball to me. Um, <laughs> and so any guy who doesn't keep their finger, like if you have short fingernails and they're dirty, I question you who like if you <laughs> kill babies at night or something. Like any like like look at his fingernails. They were dirty. In and the show? Short. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I look at. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. That's the thing okay. His fingernails are dirty. So I mean, of course he's, you know, buying into prisons. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously a dirtbag. <laughs> obviously, dirt ball. He has dirty fingernails. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't. You're gonna be looking now. I am. And you'll be like, you know what? Tiffany said. Tiffany said his nose was dirty. Now I know. Now you know. Little nasty. I just didn't see her with him just off his look. So that oh, yeah. that was the thing that didn't fit for me. He was on power before. Yeah, he was the one that... W- I had to think about where... Wasn't that the one that slept with Tasha? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had to think about where I knew him from. He was a dirtball there, too. I yeah. think that's... What's his real name? Isn't that the dude... Is that the dude that's best... That's really close friends with Amanda Seals in real life? That's him? Is that him? I don't know. I gotta look at him again. In my mind, I'm thinking that's him. He does, like, theater or some shit. Like, he sing? 
Is that him? He just sang? I don't know. I gotta look at it. Don't quote me. I gotta look at it again. Oh, I don't know. I can't think of his name right now, which is why I'm like. Well, that's why he a method actor. Is his name Brandon? He's a dirt ball. He's a now method I actor. Know. Maybe his name's Brandon. That I think sound, his name is Brandon. That sound right. Uh, He's a uh, method actor. Is that what it is? Why was his dirt? Why was his nails dirty on the show? Tell me why. Um. I but just, I just need to understand. Okay, this why? isn't giving why? me the information as fast as I needed it. I'm gonna why? find out. Um, why? That's just nasty. I, I agree with you. If your nails are dirty, your nails are short. It is gross like because it's like you're not washing your hands or you're not doing something. Something that, or or what are you nasty. digging it that you like? You think they booty scratchers? What what else <laughs> could you be digging in? What are you dig? Are you homeless? Like, what are you? Are you homeless? <laughs> <laughs> like, see how things just spiral. <laughs> it's just the thing. I don't. Know. I don't know. That is nasty. How you pay and you want to show and your nails dirty? That's the thing that I would bother. You're acting. You're at work. Why are your nails dirty? Your job is in acting. And as so, a like, that's why I was like, maybe he's a method actor. Is he doing? Does have dark nails? No, there's a difference. I know. I know what you're saying. And you're trying to make some excuses for that black man, and I appreciate that too. <laughs> I'm fighting for the black man because you would. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's I normally would. what you would do. I know, but in this case, I'm. I would pull him to the side. Come here, Donnell. Come here. Go wash your motherfucking hands and do use like the this. brush on your nails because right. you got shit. I don't know what. I don't know what that nasty. is under your nails as you a grown man. Your car today? But you need to fix it, fellas. Take care of your hands. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. More story. I think you should take care of your hands anyway because if you think about it, you want to use those hands on a lady. You sure do. And ladies' parts are sensitive. And you can't touch ladies' parts with dirty fingers. fingers. If you catch what I'm saying. Keeping it PG-13. Yeah, you can't can't touch the things you want to touch with dirty fingernails. You sure can't. Just letting you know. And if she's letting you touch those things with dirty fingernails, leave her alone. She's <laughs> okay, nasty, she's too. All right. she, she's dirty. Nasty heifer. <laughs> Oh, raggedly. Yeah, <laughs> leave her alone, too. She not right. See what I'm saying? But, yeah. Totally not what this was about. But that's just a note for you guys. Yeah. There. Take note. Wash just, your hands sh- and mind your business. Check that off. Wash your hands and mind your business. It's very hard for me to mind my business. It's all for everybody to mind their business. I am a very nosy person. Oh, my God. I want to know everybody's business. I do, too. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. And, you know... Told my not show, to judge it. I just want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I need, just need to know. I, there's more, so, like, I always complain to the producer. I'm like, you don't ask enough questions. Like, you just got the basics. There are more, so many more questions to ask. So when he bring the pillow talk back, <laughs> she don't like when he bring it back. I don't. There's not enough, like, you don't ask enough questions. Like, Child. Why? Yeah, that's and them, how? though. That's them. You're not getting how? any of that. Because when I take the conversations over and I'm giving all the details, I get mad because I start getting the questions I start getting back because you know how that looks. <laughs> and then I, I'm pissed because that's not what I bought this conversation here for. Mm-hmm. I bought it here to tell you this, to gossip to you. Yeah. And now you're questioning stuff and, and allowing space where there's no space. I hate it. Be messy with me. It's all I ask. It's a, you know, that bond, it bonds your relationship. I know my parents are so messy. <laughs> it's so good, but the, it bonds the relationship. Not so much good. My future hubs is not with the messy shit. It will. As soon as he, he get a little bit more settled, let him get a little some more settled. Because I be trying, I be feeding it in. Right. What? Well, let him get a little more settled. We just end up arguing because then he start asking me questions. I'm like, this wasn't even about us. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> now we fighting. <laughs> Not bad. Forget it. Just forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Oh, goodness. So, gracious. yeah, no. But that show was good. I think they did a really, really good job with that. Um, I was skeptical, but it was good. I was, too. I was a little nervous. I was like, man, if they if they mess it up, I'm going to be mad. I'm happy that they got Lance a lady in the end. And I liked her. I thought she was cute. Yeah, they, they did it. They did it in a right way yeah. where it was like it wasn't rushed. It was, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it wasn't like, oh, he had to have one right there. Like, yeah, no. episode one. Especially how he was wilding. I oh. like that they made him whorish. I did, too. Yeah. Like, because like he went back of, to his horse ways. Well, that's because, well, I would think most men would do that. So, yeah, yeah, as a coping mechanism. Yeah, to grieve. 
Mm. Like, you know, they, they grieve in, you know, whatever way. And that was the way he felt most comfortable to grieve. When they asked him, was he using condoms? He was like, I mean, sometimes. I mean, 80%. 80 to 75. And then they was like, oh, but it's good that you got the vasectomy. He was like, I was like, are they going to go somewhere with this story? That's what I thought. I thought somebody was going to be pregnant. That's I, what I thought. I did too. I was like, maybe they didn't have time. They probably had to cut that out. You know what I mean? It might have been recorded and they cut it. You're right. It might yeah. not have fit. Because it would have made sense. The way he was getting down, somebody is pregnant. Somebody. Somebody's pregnant. Because he was getting busy. He was. But yeah, no. I'm going to try to watch when, uh, Wednesday. I know I'm so late on the Wednesday train. But okay, I'm going to try to watch it. it when you do. And I'm watching um, Jeannie and Georgia. And season two is, is the newest season that's out. So I'm, I'm on season one. But it's interesting. It's It's okay. Kennedy said it was good. Yeah. I haven't watched it. So far, it. I'm liking it. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you watch Wednesday, let me know. We can discuss it. Our thoughts. Because I have thoughts about that show. Okay. Um, and then um, we got to figure out what else we're going to get into. Um, I know. What, what else, else is, is coming up? What else is coming up? I'm ready to watch that show, the movie on Netflix with Eddie Murphy, Lauren London, and them because oh, people are giving it such a, we're gonna a, review a that. fight. But I can't wait to watch it. We're it comes out on the 27th. We're gonna review that. Yeah, that's gonna be. I think it's gonna be good. I think people are trying to put too much reality on a movie that's based on fiction. Everybody knows that King Barris does these black white shows. Like that's oh, his yeah. thing. That's his thing. Yeah, yeah. That's because it's his life. I mean, his wife is white, right? No, she. Or she mixed. She like a mutt, probably. She so she really was like what's her name on the show on black. Yeah, she okay. was really she's really Bo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not Bo. What's the name? His wife. Remember on their show that they had on Netflix? His joint. Um, well, black Bo's, AF. Bo Bo's mixed too. Well, yeah. With, with Tracy's mixed in real life too. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like that family dynamic. That's what his family is really like, right? Mm-hmm. That his yeah, show that he was true. actually yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. That was um, good. Um, I mean, it was the same as Blackish. If you ask me, it was just. A little bit like more Black raunchy. Is a little better. Um, it was a little bit more raunchy esque, and it was because they were allowed to be a little bit more graphic or whatever. Because it was Netflix, yeah. Yeah, because it wasn't on a network or whatever. Okay, so yeah, so both shows fit where they were shown. Yeah, yeah. But that was good. that was good. So I'm I'm excited to watch that movie, and then um, I don't know what oh, else. Oh, just on a side note, Lauren looks so good. She does. Oh my God, I was looking at her. I was like, girl, she looks so good. She got my nerves. How good she looked. Yeah, Lauren's pretty. No, it's pretty. Sorry. She was a little fuller in the movie. I saw her on a red carpet and she slimmed down. So she says she does that. I can't imagine her body fluctuate. I mean, come on, she's she's still recovering from a, like in a trauma. Yeah. Like, she says she does that. She said her weight just fluctuates like that. And I was like, man, she looks good. Oh man, she looks yeah. good. I don't think. I only really, only way I really only way she really really see it is in her face because when her face is fuller, she looks younger. Oh, the yeah, the uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. she looks younger. And yeah. her dimples are so potent, like she looks like a kid to me. Like now she looks like a cabbage patch, like yeah. a little cabbage patch kid. But yeah, but yeah, so cute. Lauren's gorgeous. I always thought she was pretty and uh, real regular, which I appreciate too. You would see her. Mm-hmm. She's not like, oh, I got on eighty pounds of makeup. No, and and a, and a, a you know weave sewn. Yeah, like no, it's not like, like her. It's not like that. Yeah, and I feel like she a hang with a Kardashian or something. But then she also go kick it with Nipsey and them. Like she was very much a regular, <laughs> regular girl. Yeah, which I appreciate it. So yeah, so that I can't wait to watch that movie. And yeah. what else? What else That's is coming out? out? So Wednesday, Jeannie and Georgia, and then that movie. Yeah, um, they're supposed. To, wait a minute, hold on. Are we gonna try to get into any uh, black shows on? Any of 50 Cent shows are we going to try to do? What you asked me to watch of his already? I don't know. Did I try to ask you to watch Power? Oh, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about that damn Sisters spinoff show. Um, That's not the same thing. But yeah. I get why you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> I get why you would say that, but it's not the same thing. Um, okay, what do you want me to try to watch? This is this is gut-wrenching to me. What do you want me to try? Well, I, so I'm saying like you have to pick one. I don't know. Pick one. I don't even know which, what they are. The one with Mary J. Blige, is that different? Yeah. Okay, so Mary, there's a Mary J. Blige one. Uh-huh. And then there's the one that's like about Detroit. Is that BMF? Yes. And uh-huh. then there's the one with the white boy from Power. 
So there's three shows. There's three. Choose one. So well, there's Playbook. Power Playbook. Play, Power Book was That's Mary J. Blash. BMF. Yeah. And, and then what's the white one? Maybe Playbook 2. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Force. Um, force. Force. Okay, so which one of the three is the best out of the worst? I don't feel like I won't watch BMF. Although Lala on BMF. Um, so my, and it's based on facts. Here's the thing. What, what was the initial question? What's the best of the worst? You got to give me a better question than that. I mean, they're all bad. So which one is the better of the bad? That, that's, that has to just be the question. I got. I need a better question. Their storyline is better. Still okay. Uh, which uh, cat acting is better? Which acting is better? Okay. Okay. Um. This is bad, and this is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, don't do me. It's this not their saying. fault. It's my fault. I can't get the answer together. I think. Okay. Mary J. Blige has more, they have more people you know actors. And then the other one, the family joint, has more, oh, this is nigga's first role actors. I'm going to just uh, go back and see if I can finish watching the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's as black as I could get. I think I'm going to go back and to the then, show. And then the white boy show. Um, it's hard to follow because they introduce so many new characters. You know, like they go back to power and then introduce. And sometimes I get lost. I'm not going to lie. And these all come on what? Showtime? Stars. Stars. Star stars. All right, um, I'm going to ask my parents because they watch all of them, and I'm going to figure out which one that they feel I might dive into. Okay. Because they watch all of them. Yeah, me too. You know what we should get into that I do like, but I think we might be too far behind now because of the way that they – it feel like the seasons just run. Love After Locker. I've never even heard of that. Oh, my God. And that's a reality show. Oh, it's a reality show. It's not an is it like? Show. Is it like – it's real live love after lockup. Like people get out of jail. So are they in another country? They're no, like... they're in this country. Okay, I don't know. And they be people get out of jail. Like right now, the biggest couple that everybody's talking about is this couple, Derek and Monique. Monique, this real heavy set young lady, and the guy Derek was locked up for nine years for like drugs and this that and the third. But he real like petite and like buff. And the girl beefing with his family because he don't want to be around his family because he don't want to get back in trouble. So she like trying to fight the family all for him, but he trying to like just chill. And it's like a whole big thing. Like he, she bought him all this designer stuff when he got out of jail, like all this money. And his sister was like, <laughs> she didn't even buy my son a birthday present. His birthday was last month or never bought me a gift ever. She buying him thousands of dollars in designer clothes. I've never even seen her shop at Nordstrom. What what she do for a living? So this is the thing. It's come out since because it was an epi- it was a scene where they went to dinner and he ordered all this stuff and the bill came and it was five hundred dollars. And then he asked her, he's like, Oh babe, you gonna take care of this? And she's like, I don't have a choice. And she's like in her purse, like getting out her money. That's wrong. I shouldn't put my hands that high. Because this is how high her hands really were, because she's like really big. And oh, her, hands was, her purse was like, I thought she was reaching here. her boobs, but go ahead. No, her purse was like this high up uh-huh. because she's like really, that's just because it was sitting on her titties? It was no, because it just was it's so much of her sitting. and it was just okay. like on her. I'll send you a link. But okay. anyway, so it was a whole big thing that everybody's talking about. I was like, damn, like you had her buy you all this designer stuff and pay for a five hundred dollar dinner. Like, what the hell? Uh-huh. And so it came and he was like, You need to let them know, like, you didn't pay for that. It was already paid for. And I had money when I got locked up. Woo do Bob, you ain't just been paying for everything. It ain't just your money. So then it came out saying that she he left her some money or gave her access to some money he left behind. And she spent it. And then she tried to get a PPP loan to get it back and all this other drama. Oh, damn. See, that's the kind of trash I like to watch. That's, I like to watch real it's people sound, trash TV. It sound, it sound. It's trashy. I just started back. Married at First Sight just started there. Oh, that's on Netflix, ain't it? 50. Well, no, not the new season's not. Oh. New season's on Lifetime. 
I just started back um, there in Nashville. Did you say 50-something seasons? Yeah, it's a lot of seasons. <laughs> They're on their, like, 15th or 16th or 17th or 18th season, something like that. Okay. They just Married start. at first sight. I, a lot of people watch that. Yeah. It's it's in Nashville. It's very... um. It it can be it could be interesting if they didn't draw it out. Like when I first started watching the show, it was entertaining. Yeah. I feel like they stretch it. Probably because you know you get more money in advertisements and stuff like that. I get the whole money aspect. But they they be making stuff longer than they need to be. I, feel I can like. see that. Um All right, so we're not gonna watch no trash T V for now. But I, I, but y'all, y'all should watch Love After Lock Up. <laughs> if y'all got some free time, y'all should watch it. I well, I can try. I like a good thing. I like a good trash. I could do trash. I mean, I'd be trying. Like Bravo trash? Like Housewives trash? I tried. You can't get into Housewives? I did. I did. I did like a... I did... I probably would say I did a solid two seasons. Okay. Of which... Which... Atlanta. Franchise. Okay. Atlanta. I did a solid two seasons. So much so that if you were to mention people's names... You would have knew. I know who they are. You know what okay. I'm saying? But... After a while, you just couldn't. I just, I like, I just, it wasn't interesting no more. Yeah. Like, I just, I stopped watching for whatever reason. I just started. I've only watched while others were watching. My sister just recently uh, binged Atlanta. So she watched Atlanta from beginning to end. She watched Beverly Hills from beginning to end. And I think she might have watched New York too. She was just doing it uh -huh. while she was in school. Like, that was her binge. Right now, she's binging Grey's Anatomy. Oh, I am too. Like, because I stopped at least like season 10, maybe. I'm I stopped actually. when Derek died. I know that Derek died, I, but I don't. You didn't see him die. Mm -mm. I, so I, I know how watching. it happened. See, this is the way I like to watch shows. Okay. I like to have seen it and know who people are. And then you just tell me what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I seen, I watched like in real time when it was coming on. Yes. Derek dying. And then after that, I was like. Was that too sad for you? Because everybody no, said the episode was really sad. It was sad, but in the more sense of like, this, well, what the hell are they going to, like, there's too many original, like, I'm a, I'm a, like, a, I'm a OG. Yeah. Like, I like the original I mean, people. Maybe they killed a lot of the original people off. But they, but, so now I'm watching, because they have all 84 seasons on Netflix. So I'm trying to watch now. Mm-hmm. You know, where they are now. It is so many new people. I can't even keep up. What happened to, um, Who? The lesbian girl, Tora, Cal Callie. Callie, yeah, her, she's she, still on there. No, yeah. So I think after a while they realized killing people off don't make sense because then you can't bring them back mm. for if, like appearances and stuff, appearances or or storyline or yeah. something. You can't bring them back. So I think they realized that. Why did they kill Derek off? He was ready to lead the show, but in mm. my opinion, they didn't have to kill him off. They could have just made him cheat on Meredith and move away or something. He wanted to cheat on Meredith, though. That's I think that's probably why they did Everybody that. know how much. He, he didn't even take the dream job he wanted because of Meredith. This, I know these things because. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, they, they, they learned a lesson. Okay. So from, like, I would say Derek was the last death. Of, like, a main, main character. A main character. Yeah, because Everyone... she was watching something the other day and the redhead man was still on there. The yeah. The redhead army man. Oh, he's a, but he never even ever left the show. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm saying like that they, they learned their lesson. So anybody else who leaves the show now, cause they want to be done with the show for whatever re reason, they don't get killed off. Like it's Meredith, like, Meredith's just going to a different hospital, right? Right. She moving to Boston or something, I guess. I, and that's just because I saw a commercial. Yeah. I haven't seen the episode. Yeah, um, I haven't got that far yet. That's like I only know because they was uh, she was doing some interviews. Oh, and she okay. was talking about how she was so excited to be leaving, and I saw the commercial, and they were all cheersing her. But I was like, "Well, if Grey's Anatomy, you never know they could all be having that cheers." Next thing you know, Joe gets stuck on her throat. She fall down, croak and die in the floor. <laughs> no. Yeah, hospital. no, I don't think they're gonna do that anymore. I think they've learned their Shonda, lesson. I don't know. I know. I think they they've learned their lesson. I think right now I'm in the I'm in the season where they're covering COVID. Oh, okay. The beginning of COVID. Okay. That's why I'm, that's why I am now. All right. Well, I hope you enjoy that. Maya loves it. She's been really into it. I, I come home. I haven't really liked it. And you know what on. I don't like about that show? Never mind. Ha <laughs> ha! I hope she enjoys it. 
<laughs> that's the she's watching. Never mind. Because I think that's a, a very popular show. People who love Grey's love Grey's. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just. I don't want to be racist anymore. I knew what you were going to say. So that's in why 20, I'm. I in just 2023, I'm not going to be racist anymore. I knew what you were going to say. That's why I just kind of was going to let it go. I was, what was I going to say? I'm with, not, I'm with, not going to tell you on camera what with, you were going to say if you don't want to say it. Whisper it down low. You can't. We have on microphones. <laughs> It can't hear us if I do this. Okay, that's that's the same thing people be saying. Then they be on hot mic or on Bravo because they got caught saying something they won't say. They thought they couldn't hear them. But yeah, no, I mean, it's interesting. Yeah, that's her thing I like. I said I was going to watch How to Get Away with Murder because it's on um, Netflix. I never finished it. I, st- I did a strong season, I think. I think I did too. Just one when it first came I out. I think I did a strong season. That and Scandal. I never I really went watched back and Scandal. finished it. Okay. I did go back and finish it. Um, does Olivia die? It's hard. No. Uh, well, n- does she? No, she don't. It's hard to finish a show. Like me and the producer talked about this a long time ago. When you end a show, like just think of Game of Thrones and stuff. It's hard to end a show. Yeah, it's very hard. So I try to give people grace. Yeah, with ending shows because how do you end some? The only show that I know of that ended extremely well, and when I mean extremely well. Like the writing, it made sense. It wasn't far fetched. I feel like everything was tied up in the end. Was Breaking Bad? Oh, I didn't watch that. Maya loves Breaking Bad. That's um, the only show I felt like ended well. I was gonna say that Insecure I, ended well I, for the little bit of seasons there for the eight seasons. I thought it ended well. I think everybody got it was what rushed. they ultimately wanted in the end. It was rushed. They the needed last more season, episodes. The last season was horrible. It needed more episodes. Yeah, it needed more episodes. The last season, the first four to five episodes was... Were very slow and hard to get through. Yes. Yeah, it was true. Yeah. And um, 30 minutes was long. Yeah, so much so that that's why all the little stupid st- drama starters would like, oh, oh, Amanda Seals got on AKA Color. Like, that's because the show was born. So yeah. they just picked at something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so... They just hate Amanda Seals. Anything she would do is going to be a problem. I mean, I can't. I like Amanda oh, Seals. I, I like her, but I can see why. Sometimes your opinion isn't needed, and she feels like it is. Oh, that's the struggle with being a super, like, that's like those people who just are super, too smart for their own good sometimes. They just feel like they just want to say it because they have education or knowledge or whatever that they feel people but don't have. But sometimes you just got to shut it. up. But this, this is the world of social media. People don't just shut up online. People say I mean, whatever when they want. But she could. She has a podcast like that way she can go like people want to do that. She they can go there to get that from her. She had she had to start it the here to get it to there. Oh, she was notable before then. Before before social media. I feel like no, she wasn't. What from what her what's the name commercials? Her Wasn't she a DJ? She was a VJ. What's that mean? A bit like the video she was on TV, like on MTV, doing commercials and stuff. I think she worked on a couple of radio stations before, but I don't know her resume enough to quote her. You know what I mean? Like I didn't. I got reintroduced to Amanda Seals from Insecure. I think I was. Well, how did I know her before then? I mean, she was on a '90s show when we were kids. She was on that show, and oh, she was and on the MTV that. commercials, and she did. Um, it was another like little interview thing, like a hip hop interview thingy too but she does a freaking wu-tang musical that she does she does her smart funny and black she I does mean, she's very talented that's why i was like i you know i'm not taking that from her i just feel like and this is not just her it's a lot of people just don't know sometimes you gotta shut up you know yeah. it's okay to shut up or be quiet that's a nicer word it's okay i to think be it quiet. is okay to be quiet and shut up i just think it's hard for people who have already put it out there that they're going to have an opinion and voice it because people then start to ask them what do you think about this well, what you, what's your opinion on this and you ain't got to move because these people you don't know tell you to but that's what they feel like they need to that's the whole thing we don't live in we're not in that world You're I right. hear like people who are like famous podcasters they talk about life after and they like things that go on now that they're no more noted and, and people come to them for just different things and they're like it's hard to not give advice or to speak on something when several people are asking your opinion on it okay even if you don't know them. okay it's harder to ignore they don't know them people nine times out of ten but if you got a hundred dms like yo you feel obligated right okay 
that's just well, what I, I feel that they feel. So, I don't know. so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do that, but we're definitely going to review the, what was it? You, you people. When's it? Oh, you know, you you's pe- coming back. Is it? Two is parts. That, are they gonna do? Are they gonna go somewhere else? Because that he's point, somewhere else, and it's two parts. Remember, he had to move because he killed the girl. And he gave the baby away. This is so crazy. The girl had to die though. She was crazy. I love the first season of you. Yeah, because it was new to us. We were all like, "What the heck is this kid on?" I was like, "Dan, is that you, Dan?" I um. Did you ever what's watch Gossip Girl? Yeah, he was. He was Gossip Girl. I didn't watch it. What? Oh, okay. Too white for me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I know it, it turned out that he was Gossip Girl in the end. I saw him doing an interview. Well, everybody was at one point. They kind of like, he started it or something, but everybody ended up kind of like stealing it and taking the reins or something crazy like that at the end. Yeah, no, but season two I thought was good. You didn't like him meeting the girl and whatever. It was, was season, season three. When him and the girl was living together and they was married and had the baby that she started being crazy. Was that season three? Season three was when was the one we just had where he had to kill her. No, 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 no. That was season three? Yeah, season two was when him, when he met love. Because remember, he killed it, it, the girl okay, in the book. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so when he met, he met her, the, the his soon-to-be wife in season two? Yes. And that's when she, is that when she killed? Yeah, she, she killed somebody and he was like, she is an animal. Mm-hmm. Like he was disgusted. Yeah, she killed. that was season two. Was season two. I feel like that was season. That was season two because I remember season four. three. The brothers, her twin brothers, dead now. And that happened in season two. Then he died in season two. Season three, he's dead now, and they moved because she was pregnant. She had a baby, and they tried to start this new life. Right. That and they all got happened house. in season two. What? Well, all. Oh, all that. So he met love. They. they he got her pregnant. All that, and they got married. She killed somebody. Her brother died. All that happened in season two. Mm-hmm. Season two was eventful because mm-hmm. I swore that was a couple of seasons spread out. Mm-mm, that was season two. Season three is the house with him now, and the, then the, new, then the, the, black, the new black girl at the library, and yeah, um, the baby and love and the rest. Of, yeah, that's season three, and now season four. Love is dead. He moved to go find the black girl because she left. And it's going to be broken into two parts. He's a teacher now with a new name living somewhere in London or some shit. It's going to be good, girl. <sighs> I mean, it's cool that I, I just didn't, I think season one did it for me. That was... Season one was really good. I thought she was going to make it out. <laughs> she almost did. I mean, she tried. She almost got out. I thought... <laughs> I, I just like, knew she was going to get out. Me too. I was like, dang. This is what I don't get with people. Why do y'all hit the killer once and run? Keep hitting the killer. They're on the ground dead at this point. Keep hitting them in the head with said object. Then run. Buy yourself more time than 10 seconds. Um, It's not. It doesn't work for theatrics if you do it multiple times. He's going to kill you. You should kill him first. Is that not the way people's minds work? I guess not. That's he's not, going to kill you. Kill him first. Not, or at least that's not how they write it. That's not how they write it. Because um, she made it up them steps. And then that was it. That was it. She was stupid anyway, though. She was pissing me off a lot during that show. She wasn't making you mad season one? I, what'd she do wrong? The Other phone than- thing. The Him just being able to steal her phone. Passing out in the cab. What the how- I mean, uh, anybody, you know, we always see the other side of stuff. So we see the whole picture. Right. So we're always like this. Chick of course. Stupid. She did. But I mean, there are girls who are that stupid and trusting. There are. So, I mean, it's not far fetched. Protect yourselves, ladies. <laughs> Joe's out there trying to steal your cell phone. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nah. That's, that's pretty smart. Hey, he was good. I just knew I was like love gonna kill him he's, he's found somebody crazier than him and she's going to kill him it, it was the disgust for me I was like nigga you disgust he was supposed to be a, he, he didn't think he was that much of a like a creep he was like he never wanted to really do it did he let that one guy go like I said 
Oh, nigga. he killed the other guy by giving him oat milk or some shit. Remember that? Nigga. Yeah, because he was allergic. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he even mean, he, don't, he didn't mean to kill him. Like I said, how you disgusted? That's the love of your life. Do you hear me? <laughs> Match made in hell. Okay. Look, don't do it like that. Oh, yeah. So now we have some, we have a list of things to review. Um, yeah. Try to get this back on the roll. And more frequent. Too. Yeah. We'll do our best. More frequent content. Yeah. Um, yeah, but happy new year. We're back. Happy new year. Hope you guys enjoyed the holidays. We did. We did. We'll keep you up to date on our lives. We Things will. are happening. 2023, Things. baby. 23 is my favorite number. You know that, right? I did not know that. Three is mine. Ooh, look at us. Ooh, ooh. 2023, here we come. Um, yeah. Peace. We out. <laughs>